triptych, the two tragedies were directed by uh, William Friedkin and the comedy was directed by Woody Allen. The, the middle one was uh, called Sor Angelica and uh, it was told from the female perspective. And I spent the better part of the 60 minutes of the operetta weeping. And I realized or I thought that there was something extremely beautiful about exploring uh, melodrama from a female, a female protagonist's perspective because all of a sudden I would be free from the constraints of what I might call macho posturing, male behavior, all that stuff, and get straight to the emotional heart of it. And I, I don't mean that, you know, women are more emotional, that's not what I mean. What I mean is culturally we say masculine and feminine, we big, big traits that we assign to those qualities, those, those words. Uh, and I just thought, I could cut out all of the trappings of male behavior and just try to explore the emotion of it and to do something very operatic. Not melodramatic, but a melodrama. So that was really the inspiration for it. And uh, I found it quite rewarding, actually liberating. I know you've, you've drawn on uh, autobiography of the autobiographical elements in your other films. Can you talk about the ways in which you did that for the immigrant? Well, the movie is uh, a strange combination of the Puccini operetta that I just talked about and family stories uh, that have been told to me really from the beginning. I have my grandparents came through uh, Ellis Island in 1923 and their entire history was quite well documented. We had all the paperwork and so forth. The, great, the name was uh, Greitschestein uh, and was shortened, they shortened it to Gray. By the way, it's not, it's a bit apocryphal, you know, this idea that the the, uh, the customs guy would change the names. That would never happen. The people themselves would change their names out of embarrassment. My grandparents told me all these stories, of course, you know, that we didn't know what a banana was. We ate it like, you know, just bit into it. And of course, that wound up in the movie. All those sorts of details. But what was really kind of an interesting thing for me was that it was not like the typical immigration story. You know, when I saw movies about the American dream, they always seemed to me like, I came to America, and it was fantastic, and I loved it. And the truth is, is that my grandparents spoke really no English till the day they died, didn't really assimilate at all, and there was a tremendous melancholy to, especially my grandfather, who used to talk about how he missed the old country, which I never understood. I mean, he was, my grandfather's parents were beheaded by Cossacks, so I never, I never understood what he was missing, really. But uh, I found it interesting that he had, he still had this pull for this place. And to me, it meant that the immigration experience was a bit more complicated than America's great. So that was one of the moods that I was trying to impart. And so many of the stories about, you know, my grandmother telling my father to, to me, translating to me about the trip on the boat and how dirty it was and how the men were very aggressive with the women and all that stuff wound up in the film. And I just tried to bring that mood to the movie. And my, my grandparents, by the way, do make a cameo appearance in the film. And she has this little locket and the left side is her sister, the actress, the right side is my grandparents. So in a way, you could almost look at this film as a providing a historical or You know, I, I, I had never thought about that, Dennis, at all. And then when I started showing the film, people were like, oh yeah, it's like a prequel. And then it it's becomes very obvious. But I, it was not a conscious thing at all. Could you, uh, maybe what can you can weigh in? I'd like to hear you both. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> you feel like it, you uh, but it's, you've worked together since the yards. Uh, was the process any different this time, given that it was in some ways a different Has taught me a very valuable lesson, which is to be 
very uh, uh, process oriented. We were just trying to <laughs> but process oriented, like not to think about result, but to enjoy the doing of it, which uh, is not so easy when you're in a narcissistic position like directing, you know. It's a very egotistical, narcissistic thing. And uh, I've learned a lot of lessons from him. I think that uh, I've sort of 